The Telstra Hobart Chargers are really thrilled to announce today that we have um, uh, signed Craig Moller, a um, starting five all-star from the Seabull last year and obviously a rising superstar uh, in the NBL at the moment playing for Melbourne United. Uh, together with Mathang Muo, um, I reckon they were the two best players in the whole of the Seabull uh, last year and we are thrilled that Craig Moller uh, who we know has had multiple offers uh, from across Australia and indeed uh, New Zealand. Uh, uh, offers that were probably financially uh, better for him than ours um, has decided to come to Hobart. Um, I think that's a great vote of confidence when uh, the guy who's probably the best player in the Seabull last year and starting to be one of the greats of the NBL wants to come to Hobart because of the program we're running here um, is a great, um, uh, I guess, boost of confidence for the whole club and will be, uh, together with Trey Nichols, who we've already announced as an import, uh, put together one of the most exciting uh, men's programs we've seen uh, in years in Hobart. How much extra cash did you have to find to lure him down? Uh, well, look, actually, um, uh, you know, we don't get into the numbers in terms of individual players and so on, but what I do know for a fact is that uh, Craig Moller uh, could have named his price with a number of clubs uh, around the place, but he's chosen uh, to come to us, and I think that's a great vote of confidence in not only the program that we're running, but in our 2018 prospects to win a national championship. On paper, you're putting together a pretty impressive list. Is it a is it a title or bust next season for this team? You think? Or? Oh well, look, I've made it pretty clear in the um, to uh, my two coaches and our high performance coach Mark Nash. Uh, that we should be aiming uh, to win two titles. We're going to have, I think, two very strong Chargers teams that this community are going to love to watch play um, and are going to win a lot of basketball games. Um, now, uh, uh, when it comes to finals times, uh, we know anything can happen, but certainly um, uh, I don't hide from the fact that that's what we're aiming for, two championships. Jeremy Lowe, like I said yesterday about the um, NBL stuff, um, are you comfortable where that sits that we'll probably have to see uh, a club come down here and play a few games first before they get our own time? Well look, it's really great um, that, uh, you know, one of the first uh, things uh, the CEO of the NBL is now talking about um, when they talk expansion is about what we're doing in Hobart and what we've done um, to, to basketball uh, in Tasmania over the last uh, a year and a half or so. Uh, to really grow the sport. That's fantastic. Um, I'm always a bit nervous, to be honest, uh, when visiting clubs um, want to come to Tasmania um, and leave again. Um, and I'm a bit nervous when public money goes into that. And I said to Larry Kesselman when I had breakfast with him, uh, I explained my nervousness about that. What I've clearly said is if an NBL club is to come here and play exhibition games, test the market, um, then it should be part of a very clear pathway for Tasmania having its own NBL club. And what was his response to that? Uh, Larry Kesson was very positive uh, when I uh, made that statement. So what do you think is going to happen? Well, I can't predict the future. <laughs> um, I thought, um, you know, the Hurricanes were going to lose last night in the, with about a two overs to go, but they didn't. <laughs> you never know what the future holds. Uh, what I know is we are one year into a three year plan to be NBL ready. We're well ahead of our goals uh, when it comes to that and putting two great sides on the floor um, for the 2008-18 season will be another fantastic step in that direction. Is the most likely outcome Melbourne United playing a game here in 2018? Look, you'd have to talk to governments and oppositions about those sorts of things because there's an election coming up and no doubt governments and oppositions will be wanting to win votes. Any uh, update on stadiums? Uh, from the... oh, well, again, you'd have to talk to governments and oppositions about those things. What I'm confident is, is that the basketball community in Tasmania, both the Chargers, the other two Seabull clubs and Basketball Tasmania, have put our best foot forward explaining to both government and the opposition what basketball needs to grow. Uh, we hope they've listened to us.